Hello, 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 hello. How is everyone doing? This is just a very quick, short, like public a service announcement type of video. <laughs> For those of you that follow the stars, um, we have a timeline where Mercury begins its retrograde. Actually, Mercury's already begun its retrograde, let's be clear. Mercury's already begun its retrograde. That happened like August 23rd or ish, I believe, right? So um, I threw a chart up. And now this chart isn't until the end of August. I know, I don't think you can see the date on it. But the point is not really so much the date, although... The date's important, but it's also Mercury that's important and the sun. And they're important because if you look at the degrees of them, of those two, you see that Mercury right here, right? This little being is at 1842 and you see the sun is at 812. So they are within 10 degrees of each other. They're 10 degrees, right? So because Mercury is retrograding, we know that Mercury, I'm going to turn that to red because she's going backwards. See the number in red? She's retrograding. Now, prior to this day, Mercury was retrograding, but she wasn't within 10 degrees of the sun. And there's a big difference when that happens. When Mercury and the sun get close to each other, right? They start to become, what happens? The sun burns Mercury. It kind of takes away some of its power. And what's Mercury? The way I talk and think and communicate. The way I can gather information. I can read something one minute and I'm like, oh, wow, that's, that's so cool. This is what this means. And then I could read it like a day later or even an hour later. And I read, read it again. And I'm like, oh, that's not what that means. You like, I took on a whole different meaning because my thoughts kind of got jumbled or mixed up or just misunderstood, a miscommunication, or maybe my eye skipped over some details. Ever have that happen? I know I have. Um, or my, 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 the dyslexic part for me, it's not letters. It's like whole words, like half of a sentence. Anyway, so the whole point of me sharing that isn't to make this a me video, <laughs> but it's to say the way that we think, the way that we learn, the way that we assimilate information has everything to do with the way we understand and comprehend. And then the way that we then regurgitate it and put it back out. And Mercury is how you learn. It's how I learn. It's how we all learn. So as it gets closer to the sun, the sun becomes, the sun is bigger. The sun is bold. It burns things up that get close to it. So anytime any planet gets within that 10 degree range, or less, that planet takes on this disappearing type of thing. It comes, starts to become invisible, they say, like its power becomes less. My thinking isn't as sharp. It's not going to be as good and sharp because Vir Mercury likes details and it's in the sign of Virgo. So there's all a lot of Virgo power happening already with details right? There is a lot of Virgo energy because Virgo is the details. It is the connecting of the dots and being that troubleshooter of the Zodiac. So there's like probably an abundance of that happening. And so for some of you, if you have a strong Mercury, this ac actually might help to have a little bit less of the thinking going on. But for some of us where our Mercury was next to our son when we were born, or it was in a sign where the thinking abilities were lessened a little bit, right? Maybe in a water sign where it became a little dreamy and more about creating, but not very analytical or in, high on intellect, right? More of a, of a, of a, of a warm, uh, mutable kind of ooh, come and go all feely, touchy feely about, about thoughts and emotions and, and the way I convey and think and communicate a warm communicator, Mercury with water signs possibly. But if Mercury is strong, Maybe it's in an air sign, right? So it's quick. It learns fast. It's accurate, right? So for some folks, depending upon your natal chart, when Mercury is in a retrograde, Mercury does drill down a little bit more on the details, right? It's like, I am going back to get more information. I know I forgot something, even though it feels like, holy shit, it's a slowdown and I'm 
go looking over these papers again. Yeah, because when you look over it again, you're like, oh, I reread this and I missed something. And I'll give you an example, not to be about me. I got a letter in the mail, right? Snail mail. And I was looking it over and um, I found out that the letter was about, um, there was a security breach somewhere, right? Through one of the insurance companies, there was some sort of a security breach. And so they were sending out notices, letting people know, hey, we had a breach and it looks like it's possible that your name and your phone number, your name and your address, and even possibly your name and your social security number were taken, were, were part of that information. So anyway, then they give you these steps of recommendations, what to do to prevent identity theft, right? So anyway, I read the letter again the following day. And the steps that they said to take were not the same to what I understood the day before. The day under the day before when I read it, it was like, oh, it said to do this one thing, right? Even though it gave me lots of options in my mind, I read all the options like, oh, okay, I'll pick that and I'll do that thing. Well, then when I reread the letter again the following day, rereading Mercury retrograde, redoing, going over Mercury retrograde, looking over something I already looked over right? Or possibly traveling to somewhere I've already been because Mercury is like being in the car and traveling throughout my neighborhood. But reviewing it, reruns, reviewing it, looking at it again and see, right? So it kind of like feels like you might be, oh my God, again, I'm looking at this again. Yes, because you might a second look, a third look, and maybe even a professional to look at those details, when there's a lot of details, which I'm considering, um, because I'm like, okay, like, holy shit, right? I realized some of the things that I read that I thought I understood weren't exactly spot on. So I reread it and I'm like, oh, there's a few more steps I have to take. Had I not picked it up and read it again, but I have a habit of rereading things multiple times because I know that it's important for me to reread things multiple times. When I was born, my son and my Mercury are very close to each other, you see? So I always knew just in school as a kid, when people are like, oh, well, can't you just do this and do this and, and do that? And it's just like, you don't understand. It takes me a lot of extra steps to get some shit right, you know? And so I have to go through all these steps. So it takes me longer. It takes me longer. And so the whole point is Mercury retrograde might take things longer, but the point of this video is that when the sun and Mercury are together within the 10 degree realm, because Mercury, let's be clear, when it goes backwards, which it is, it's going to go to 17. It goes down in numbers and the sun is going up in numbers because it's going forward. So it'll go to nine the very next day. Even if Mercury stood still, the sun would be getting closer to Mercury. But here we have the sun and Mercury on two, on, on like the same road, and they're headed towards each other. You follow? Now, this doesn't mean to be like, oh, my God, they're headed towards each other. What's going to happen? I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is when Mercury and the sun get closer, like the two ships that pass in the night, it could be like, oh, shit, the sun, you know, my thinking was a little off. And that's what happens. Our thinking is a little off. I had a conversation with somebody and I totally thought it meant this, but they were saying something else. The way they communicated it wasn't at all what they meant. Oh, I read something and I missed some details. I need to redo it and reread it again. So we're always, this is always the case whenever a planet gets close to the sun. And the word, what's that other word? Kazemi they use, Kazemi as opposed to like it disappears and they use that because it, or it gets burnt up because it loses its power. The sun kind of overpowers it. So if the mind is mercury and talking is mercury and, and talking and thinking and relating in cars and driving and trips and travel close, short trips and travel, but it's also digital and social media. So ah, how many times does it take to press the send button for the shit to actually go through or whatever? Don't even want to go into any more details about that, but the delays and miscommunications, snail mail, but also uh, our phones and our devices. All right. So just keep that in mind. And the date on this, by the way, is this is August 31st. I don't know if you can see that. This is August 31st when they get that 10 degrees distant apart. So that means the following days, 
right? That means the following days, we know the sun and, the, and, and Mercury are getting closer and closer and closer and inching towards each other. And so we got to be aware that it'll be, they have to be 10 degrees or more apart, right? But I will add this one last nugget because it's Virgo, because it's the sun in Virgo. In Mercury still in Virgo, even though it's not performing like as strongly as it was before, because it's close to the sun, it's going back to get some information and then it's got to go forward again. Because that's what Mercury retrograde does. And then when Mercury moves forward, the sun will have kept trucking forward, right? So we always want to make sure, especially if you know you have some choices and some decisions to make, wait. If you can add a delay in there somehow to wait before you have to make a, a final decision or if you've been made an offer on something, like see if there's a way you can kind of put a delay in there. Because honestly, truly, we want to wait till the Mercury retrograde is past the 22 degree mark because it goes back to eight degrees, seven, eight degrees, and then gets to the 22 degrees. Okay. And at that 22 degrees, which by the way, it's going to be a big deal. The 22 degrees in Virgo is a big deal. Yeah, we're going to have a video coming up um, about that. But that 22 degrees in Virgo, I'm going to do the video. It'll be up next. So stay tuned for that. But once Mercury gets beyond that 22, she's out of the, her retrograde zone. She's out of the shadow zone. She now has all the information to make a better decision right? So I'll include the Ver Mercury retrograde videos down below so that you can go watch those if you would like more information, deep dive on a Mercury retrograde. But this was just to give us a, a simple, practical day-to-day -day routine update, Virgo energy, of Virgo and her health routines and possibly things with pets or possibly just the mundane stuff around the house, job tasks, projects, could be routines at the J-O-B for sure, and being flexible because that's Virgo. And then Mercury, communication, also coworkers and neighbors and siblings. Keep that in mind. A lot of folks have been like, I got to get rid of these people. Or I got to get away from these people or I'm leaving this job, right? There's a lot of that going on because there, there's a lot of just miscommunications and maybe some cross words because we had, we had Mars and Virgo neighbors possibly, right? And so you see now Mars is in Libra. OK, so it's 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 a little bit different energy. Mars takes on a different tone and we'll go over that a little bit more in the weekly video. OK, so this was just to give you that quick, short update. Hopefully it helps. Just pay attention to your thinking and decision making and delay, delay, delay. <laughs> Who knew I'd ever say that? Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.